Greetings, 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 free people. Greetings across the earth. Again, we are just here to share information. We are talk about the creation of the Bird Trust. We talk about the reissue of a secondary securities, which is the Bird Bond. And we touch upon the pledge where we have said the bond is transmitted by the feds to the depository trust company where it is placed into safekeeping for the purpose of reissuing a vast array of derivative securities, each one written against the pledge. Yes, yeah, so we have got to touch upon the pledge, what that pledge is, and designed to elicit. Remember, them are try to elicit them are offer to contract your consent for profiteering. So this is when them carry me to them court, when men are breaking the law, when men are do nothing wrong, have committed no crime. However, because them want to fleece, when I say fleece, we mean them are trespass from your estate, them are thief your funds from your estate. They need access to your funds from your estate without your consent. So them coerce you into participating in their fictitious and unlawful criminal conduct. That's basically what it is once you get the clarity. So let's touch on the pledge. The pledge of the future performance, securities future. Number one said, almost immediately, the life event of the delivery of an infant is marred by using its right foot to make an impression on the hospital birth record, abbreviated HBR. The hospital birth records provides public testimony of the baby's birth on the continent and status as an owner of the United States or whatever corporation there is. But I beg to differ and challenge. We can't be an owner to this corporate construct. How can we be? So this is the devil switch. This is the usurpation. This is how them remove your lawful status as man in other earth. You understand? Because if the mother tell us that you have a status as an owner, how can the infant own anything, really? And if it's a corporate construct such as the United States, which is a corporate construct, you understand, which is an agency of the United States of America, which is the parent corporation. So how can I or any other infant on this construct that was there in place, created by some foreign entities. So we have to go about that again. The only attachment is probably the application for certification. And your mom is always the grantor making the offsprings with your mom, the beneficiaries. And whoever the agency is, Naturally, as recipient, they are the trustee. So how come you become the owner here? So you have to, we have to learn these things, know these things, so we can correct these things. Most of the ones them out there, them tell you to do all kind of things, but them don't try to show you what is going on. Them not try to get to the root of the cause. Them just go into some secret organization and learn some Freemasonic trickery. So them keep our people in circle. No one can express or explain or even come in close to say allegedly or apparently. It seems to be this is what's going on. It seems to be. We're not sure. But none of these ones out there, we have never seen them present anything such as this. And we're on the island here. And next thing, our people need to wise up as West Indian here. We're not going to 
you know, give away a continent and settle with just an island. This is why when the United States Corporation attacks the boy, they are, you know, put restrictions on their government of Jamaica Corporation ambassadors, then that's their corporate business. It has nothing to do with us as man. It has nothing to do with us as West Indian. It has nothing to do with us as Awak Indians, really. Yeah, man, it's all uh, their agency. Once you're outside of their agency, this is why I tell you the visa process does not apply to an Awak Indian or a West Indian who choose that status. It doesn't apply. And when you choose that status according to their international law, then you fall under what is called a Commonwealth citizen, for lack of a better word, not a Jamaican citizen. There's a distinction there. It's two class of citizens here, or citizenship. I would express what registration is, so we don't have interest to register with anyone. And a man such as I can always demonstrate, say, yeah, right by that county recorder's office, you can find all the information what we talk about. When we say we renounce it, our citizenship, we don't need permission to do that from any agent of any agency. To say we, we, we do not consent, we do not have no interest to participate in a fictitious conduct. Or activities. These are free will gestures. You can't force no man to do these things. Man have to choose to arm themselves with correct knowledge. Yeah, man. And approach it step by step and move accordingly. Yeah, man. And then a group thing where everybody come group up. And you come with all kind of carouches in a your wagon. And you try to catch your wagon. To, to this thing, when this thing I say, freedom, freedom in, and freedom in. It's that simple. Yeah, man. So, number two say, contrary to popular opinion, ownership does not mean control. In the legal system, ownership is defined as pledge to act as surety. For the debt incurred by the property. Should I repeat that? This is why we say we can only be the beneficiary. If there is a public trust, then there has to be a public trustee. Where is he? And if there are the public trustee out there, naturally, we, the people, are the beneficiaries. We just have to assume our position and we are talking about the very birth surface ticket or the birth registration form that sophisticated financial instrument yeah that bond paper that pretty paper all of you people have on the know the significance of what it is this is what them have inside the court right now the traffic court this is where them are trying to get money from so I give thanks when the most I bring this kind of information where other people that, that's ahead of us, I break it down this way for even we, the basic, the simple, can bring it forward and say, this is what we are talking about. Do the research. And then you can tell me, say, we're wrong. Cure our ignorance. We need full disclosure here. On a Mickey Mouse thing. You get me? It's not just an Indian thing. All of who purport themselves to be any kind of Indian, I'm quite sure any which state you're in, you have a birth registration form or a birth certificate. Irrespective of what claim you make out there. Irrespective of all these trusts you guys so on created. You are shown us at the, at the foundation. Is one number them start with, which is the primary. And everything else is secondary, but everything has to derive from that birth bond number. 
this is the account where they want access to. So it's uh, in the case of the United States or any one of those federal corporations there. That doctrine is enshrined in the article, in Article 6 of the Constitution, which says uh, all debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be as valid against the United States, which is a corporate entry, entity, under this Constitution as under the Confederation. So long, that's why I'm saying, so when you see the Article of Confederation, just break down what is confederacy, what is confederation. Let's, let's, let's break it, break down these definitions legally. Uh, when you go in the Bible, that's why I like the Bible. The Bible will tell us uh, all nations conspire against us as a people. Don't be fooled. All nations conspire against us as a people. Uh, from the article of confederation, it's the word trickle down to right now. Total oppression, total tyranny. Where them basically I say, even though there is a constitutional law, so you cannot abrogate, you cannot abridge, you cannot infringe upon the people's fundamental rights and freedom, even though that is there on the books. Internationally, they talk about these laws. But locally, domestically, it not exists for the, for the free people. If it did, I wouldn't be in court. You understand? Some non-reading, non-writing senior sergeant of police, A. Edwards, would not have made a legal determination on the side of the road. You understand? And abrogate, infringe, and truly violate, as we would say, or inherent dignity as man. Yeah, man. Total abridgment of our inherent dignity as man. He must say we as a man. If he do that, he must show respect. And show due diligence and say, I'm see the location where you're there. Oh, all right, this where you're there. Okay. All right. See the warrant here, yeah, or see the summons here, yeah, or see the notification here. Yeah. You know, just take up people property, total disregard to man inherent dignity. This is why we can call you out and talk about you. And you have demonstrated so you cannot read properly or write properly because you have a junior constable making that report, making that so-called unlawful witness statement. You understand? Without any of their justice of the peace and their document. They not have no validity. This is the game they play because there is no one to challenge them on this level. Only because we don't have enough information. Number three say in other words, the act of registering the child with the federal corporation through a government licensed hospital comprises the owner's pledge of future labor, the full faith and credit that underwrites all corporate currencies, I'm sorry, U.S. currency, and public debt under the ancient doctrines that ownership equals liability. After all, who else but the owner would be motivated to pay the bills? So because I'm classifying you as owner of this and that. Did you know you're owner of anything at all, people? <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have to rebut these presumptions on paper. And put them in them place. Yeah, man. The only way we can put them on the manners. They're public trustees out there. Not no public masters. They're public trustees according to your public oath of office. Whether judicially or administratively. 
your agents working for an agency. That's it. Yeah, man. Number four says, for the sake of skeptical friends and family, here are some sound bites. Who else but the people of the United States or the people of Jamaica stand behind the Jamaica currency or the United States currency? Who else? Then it says, does the issuance of a government hospital birth record signify one's responsibility to pay taxes and underwrite the public debt? I'm going to say what I go on. So before when a born, it's like you're born into slavery when there's no such thing. But there's what is known as a separation of entity. We are separate and distinct from that legal person, from that juristic person, from that surety. Yeah, man, that debt entity. We are separate and distinct from that. Yeah, man, we are on the other side of the fence, separate and distinct. The living soul manifests as man in this earth. This is who we are. And who we'll give you, a next man, the right to dictate terms and conditions without your present some written contract that both of us agree to? Who are you, woman? Okay, it's an open, opening an account. So a lot of people do all kind of things out there, but you know, because of the level of them comprehension, them just do the thing and say, boy, the normal way of, you know, conducting business and then they know the repercussions behind it or even the foundational structure of what's going on. This is where we try to pique our interest, you know. This is where we try to focus. We want to go on so we can learn how to function correctly. We don't want to be a lawbreaker. You understand? That's why we choose to be a truth seeker. So it's a, the hospital birth record is delivered to the incorporated county for the purpose of transmitting the infant's pledge into the legal system. Nothing lawful here. So this is how them transmit the so-called infant's pledge into the legal system. What happens when the transfer proper? What happens when you transfer property? A trust is created. What must you do when you make a purchase on the internet? What's the first step in creating a commercial relationship with your doctor, bank, and phone company? They open an account in your name. Truly, that's what they do. And are you open the account really? You know? They open the account in your name because them have access as trustees to where the currency is, to where the funds are, to where the true value of your labor is. You understand? So them say, what's the first step in creating a commercial, a commercial relationship with your doctor, bank, and phone company. They open an account in your name. As with any asset, the incorporated county as the receiving institution must open an account and log it in. The county registrar opens an account in the county's book. As you will discover, the sole purpose for every account that has ever been open in your name is to leverage issue future securities. You're unaware of this because you're unaware of the definition of securities. I don't want to stay too long out here with these things. So, Opening an account is a boilerplate event in the uniform 
securitization scam or scheme, one and the same thing. When any bank, court, corporation, or government institution seeks to access the owner with a, no, not access, to assess, to assess the owner with a portion of the public debt and tap into the owner's estate to pay the assessment. Say, hey, what I'm going on with this is what I'm going to do right now. When I'm off me in a court unlawfully. You understand? Because that is an administrative adjudication. It's not a court. You understand? And this is why, as we go forward, with us, you know, <laughs> share as much information as we can. You know, so the people them can become at least aware. It's a reducing status to a number. As with any account, the county birth account is assigned a number. We know that. Typically, in the format, this, I think there's a subtle difference here. I mean, I want to get in it. This is according to the information where we are share. Because I'm going to probably share a little bit, you know, different view. Well, let's just continue. In the format of the 1, 2, 3, that's 4, 5, that's 6. Five, four, three, all those digits. The first number group identifies the corporate state. The second group identifies the year of delivery. And the third group identifies the transaction. The birth identification number will follow the infant throughout his life. Now, that is interesting. You hear that? The birth identification number will follow that infant throughout his life. So that infant will never ever attain the age of majority. Because I hear it said, infant throughout his life. So irrespective of your age, you'll be viewed as an infant when you have this kind of information and I make move to totally take control of your fears and can break down what is and what is not. So all of we out here, them I try, you know, say we are infant because we're not bright enough to acquire this kind of information and express it out there. We're not, you know, even when we are actually doing it, you get me? They won't acknowledge it. They won't stand down. So this is how you tear them wide open from the inside out. You decimate them naturally. Give them information. Allow them to correct themselves. Allow them to do the right thing. Guys, only righteousness are going to hold this place. A righteousness are going to govern the earth. Not badness. Righteousness. And our clean hand. And our pure heart. Yeah, man. And the chant, our chant to the most high creator of nature. There's only one power, irrespective of what going out there. There's only one power, and that derived from the most high creator of nature. That's why we now play games. And the angel, them chant, them chant to the most high creator of nature. Them not chant to no other angel. So when I said to the most high creator of nature, yeah, to the mystic laws of the universe, yeah, and its protective functions and forces in nature. So every being, everything, were derived from the most side. I have come in line, yeah, and attend unto I. This is how simple it is. I now have to go here, now dear. I now have to look left, now right. I stay focused on the most I create of nature. Keep it simple. To God be the glory. So it's there, you know. Yeah, man. So it's there. So if the mother have you as an infant throughout your life, then, you know, that is a free will choice. Because all of these things are the satanic thing where them bring forward in the earth. And so we there at the tail end, and we are the new breed, the pioneers, where I say, watch out. 
we now accept that we they have to stop and correct things truly and we don't mind a walk through the fire because we know it can't burn with you get me if we are trying fire we're not afraid of fire we will walk through the fire and know so not even with clothes have a smell of any kind of fume we don't have them problem there because we choose the most high creator of nature irrespective of what the outside folks think Understand? Yeah, man. One power out there, man. Everything else is lesser. That we know. Yeah, man. We now go worship the creation and ignore the creator. Impossible. Yeah, man. And that God is the same yesterday, today. And forever. So don't be deceived with some ones that come about love, love, love and turn the other cheek. You get me? The earth not just start yesterday. Yeah, man. It not just start yesterday. That's why I love Isaiah 43. I love Isaiah 43. And when I leave with Sam. Yeah, man. In a leave for sound, chant them like rifle, yeah, rapidly, yeah, you will get all 54 psalms quick, yeah, man, not just two and three and seven psalms, yeah, man, we love, we reverence, right, it's ours, and our personal, yeah, man. Again, reducing status to a number. It has uh, the implication are well documented in scripture. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. That are first Chronicle 21 1. You may wish to read about the consequence of that event to the people of Israel. When we participate in a census for the purpose other than to glorify the most high creator of nature, we can expect to be condemned. That's why when the government are come and talk about census, must say fire burn demonic entity. Fire burn demonic entity. Again, fire burn demonic entity. But that is I, personally. Yeah, man. Should I continue or should I just... All right, let me see how we can touch upon this. Recording a general deposit, relinquishing title. The registrar then record the hospital birth record in the account as a general deposit. Meaning, the state takes title of the funds, your future labor or commercial energy, the very same way a bank takes title of your deposits when you use a bank's endorsement stamp to print, pay to the order of, at my bank, example. On the back of a check before depositing it, depositing it in in your account. Haven't you ever wondered why the checks are made payable to the bank instead of your account? The pay to the order of notion is not just a material alteration under the Uniform Commercial Code. It creates a brand new security wherein the bank take your funds for its own purpose and disguises the acquisition by issuing credits to your account. This one act is the mechanism by which the state steals the infant's divine right to her own labor 
and converts it into a numbered account to act as surety for its portion of the public debt owed to the bank cartel under the Constitution. The United States or any state government now holds a true pledge of the minor child's future labor deposited voluntarily by the child's mother as a foundation for all the future securities to it will attempt to issue in your name. The hospital birth record is then placed into a vault at City Hall or the county seat or a subsidiary such as vital records. Those who are skeptical might wish to examine their own birth certificate alongside a stock or a bond certificate and read the definition of securities in Section 78C of Title 15 of the United States Code, subsection A10. So, you know, the ones them can set them time on, go through the information, do the research, locate information like this and share it. Arawak, Arawak son, Arawak and son, salute, information share out there. That other information about the birth certificate fraud, yeah, I add it out there, sharing it. Because people have, you know, we can't just act like said, boy, we're selfish with this information. And again, remember, my platform no monetize, no go monetize. You understand that when you're out here have a handout with us, no say, boy, this is what it is. And this is our choice to share information accordingly while we learn. Because the best way fair learn is fair share. You understand? The mother say fair teach. You understand? Because you have to get to it. Once I go I ask some question where all when you don't know it, you have to go seek. The answers. So we have to choose to apply ourselves out the people. Yeah, man. And again, them said the brave may fall, but never yield. And we said bold and brave out here. Firm and strong. Again, give thanks to the most high creator of nature. Yeah. To the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces. Out there. Subscribers again, gratitude, salute, complete, you know, respect with honor. A work Indian nation, specific society. You people know yourselves. Sometimes we are fit. Go a little bit incognito. Uh, too much, you just say, agents kind of attach themselves too close. So we have to become a little bit more reticent in order to, you know, stay focused. Yeah, cause it's always a spiritual, you know, battle out there. Uh, the spiritual war has been waging for eon and it's good over evil every time this is why when a lego are for the most high creator of nature stay firm out the people yeah man just like i father born yeah, and i mother born yeah. And I great 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 granny Banya, great 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 granddaddy Banya, I'm a na left ya. But I'm a na give away a continent for just an island. This western hemisphere belongs to us as a people, not to these foreign invaders, not to these foreign imposters, not to these foreign usurpers. The whole hemisphere belongs to I and I people. And specifically, our chief dominion, this West Indian area. Yeah, man. 
what I'm call West Indies now, what I'm call Caribbean, what I'm offload so much foreign people till the place change. But the ancients know the truth and the ancestors are here. Them know the truth. Yeah, man. And the rule of law has to prevail in other house. So the earth has got manifest itself naturally. A lot of the ones them where I move outside the law, them just are going to get pushed out naturally. So it's going on. And the righteous are going to stand up. Lawful people them, were full of love and compassion. And them people them, are going to stand up. The meek shall inherit the earth. Not the boisterous. Yeah, man. The meek shall inherit.